Well, tonight, there's an annoying gnat explosion in the valley. So what's causing it? CBS 13's Rob Malcolm is live getting answers on these bothersome bugs. Rob? Yeah, that's right. Good evening, Curtis. You know, here at the Yolo Bypass Wildlife Area, the bugs aren't out in huge numbers now, but you can see them being attracted to the lights of our truck. They're harmless, but a hassle. Like columns of smoke floating over the trees in the Yolo Causeway, there's only one way to describe them. You know how birds, they, when they swarm, they, there's the same thing as swarms of insects. But they're annoying. <laughs> like sometimes like they'll swarm like around the dog park. And this time of year, they seem to be everywhere. There could be literally millions of these little flies in these swarms, and sometimes you can hear them even. You can hear hmm. Dr. Kimsey says it's mating season for the adult midge. Up close, they're not pretty, but they're out there looking for partners. They form these swarms so they can find each other. As students prepared for picnic day at UC Davis, even the pesky bugs couldn't ruin the picture-perfect day. You're also speaking to an ecologist, so um, midges are great, midges should stick around. But not so fast, says Dr. Kimsey. The, the adults live uh, 24 hours to a week, maybe. Just long enough to bug you. They were uh, hitting me in the face and getting in my eyes and they were going up my nostrils. And you can thank the long, wet winter for the great year for midges. It's big this year because I think we have so much water that you've had a huge amount of survivorship from the larvae to the adults. They are a bit of a pain, and when you're driving, you'll notice you'll be pulling over and doing a lot of this. Pretty much, you gotta get all over the windshield and have to use the windshield washer clean it all off. They're harmless, so we can still enjoy the great outdoors. Yeah, I try to keep my mouth closed when I bike. <laughs> so the good news is it's a bug's life. As you heard from Dr. Kimsey, they only live for 24 hours to a week. So it's a good idea if you're outdoors to wear glasses, cover your mouth, and even maybe close the door in your van. As you can see here, they're once again to our lights. Guys. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think we actually had one in our studio earlier. We Both did. of us were swatting away <laughs> yeah. in here. All it's right. Trying to go up the nose. <laughs> it, it was. was. It's bad. Rob, thanks. <laughs>